A dramatic scene captured at Black's Beach after a bluff collapses in broad daylight. Thank you for joining us on this Friday night. I'm Kathleen Bade. That collapse happening near the glider port in Torrey Pines, leading to a trail closure in that area. Our Jamie Chambers starts us off tonight live with more. Jamie. Kathleen, it was an extraordinary collapse, extraordinary failure that experts say was about 40 years in the making and is nowhere near finished. There's something different. I've never seen anything like that in 40 years of surfing here. The afternoon bluff failure brought down a massive amount of dirt and debris, possibly the most significant failure in 40 years, according to geology professor Pat Abbott. With the ocean waves beating on them, with gravity pulling on them, now saturated with rainwater at this particular time, with the highest tides of the year going on right now, this place can have landslides, major ones at any time, including where we're standing. Surge can occur within the mass. Oh, look at that, like, oh, huge pieces falling off. Witnesses say the force of the collapse hit the shore so hard, the sand cratered and exploded upward. I fall asleep a lot at the beach, and my stuff was set up pretty close. And uh, so if I wasn't swimming, and I could be buried, yeah, I could be under there right now. These are what we call low probability, high consequence events. Is it very liable to happen to you? Highly unlikely. However, if it does, well, five times since 1995, we've had beach cliff collapses in San Diego County kill one to three people per event. Now local surfers are watching every single step as they make their way up and down the bluffs above Black's Beach. I've been more cautious as I've gotten older, but definitely right now I was thinking about that when I was walking up, like it could happen right here as well. So you definitely need to be careful when you're walking down. And after you saw such a massive failure, everybody was standing on those cliffs was certainly paying a lot more attention than they normally would. Now that there are, are a little bit of closures on top of the glider port area, south of the glider port, and there's also that slide on the beach. If you're going to go for a walk on the beach is sometime tomorrow morning, know that you will be completely cut off because the high tide is going to be a 7.0 at about 8 o'clock. So try not to walk around that area. It is still quite an active scene. That's the very latest from La Jolla, Jamie Chambers, Fox 5 News.